Pet owners will do anything for their four-legged friends when it comes to medical emergencies. But as with humans, even the most advanced surgeries cannot help them. Some of the injuries that lead to most of that leads to losses of mobility. That is when a center in Korea specializing in rehab equipment for pets come in. Lee jung reports. This toy poodle is just two and a half years old, but has been walking on three legs for more than half his life. He injured his foreleg and went through five surgeries, costing more than 10,000 U.S. dollars, but to no avail. He has been confined to living indoors ever since, so his owners came to the center to find him a fitted leg brace so he can take strolls outside once again. Our goal is not just to treat injuries, but to alleviate these animals' pain so they can have a higher quality of life, even if their disability is permanent. More than 80 percent of disabilities in pets are not genetic, but instead happen during the pets' lives. Many of these animals come after failed surgeries or even permanent injuries. Before such centers were available, many owners opted to amputate the damaged limb or even abandon or euthanize their pets. Now owners have an alternative before making those drastic choices. After five surgeries, I almost wanted to give up, but I came here with one last strand of hope because I didn't want to amputate his leg. The center was founded five years ago, back when no other places specialized in producing equipment for canine rehabilitation, and it is still one of the very few places like this in the country. Animal rehabilitation is still quite a foreign concept for Koreans. It's the same for animals as it is for humans. Only half of the job can be done through surgery. The rest depends on rehabilitation. And that can really affect the animal's overall well-being, as well as relationships with people. In Korean society, which is now home to over 10 million pets, experts say that more people should treat their pets' disabilities like they would a human's and be open to differences in the conditions of the animals they choose to raise in their homes. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.